Hey guys, I'm Maddie, and today I'm just going to be explaining what the Future Education Model graduate program looks like. Let's get into it. So, as many of you guys know, I applied to Masters in Dietetics program this fall, and the specific type of program that I applied to is called a Future Education Model Graduate Program, or FEM-G. Now, there is a Future Education Model Bachelor's Program, but because all new dietitians have to have master's degrees by 2024, I think that the Bachelor's Program um, is not going to be for practicing um, or upcoming practicing registered dietitians. So these programs uh, provide some more flexibility for people who are coming into the program. They don't require you to have a DPD. They don't require you to necessarily have a um, bachelor's degree in nutrition. It just gives a, so the programs that I applied to, for example, just have a list of prerequisites. And because I took a lot of science courses in undergrad, um, I was pretty much checked off. I just hadn't taken any dietetics classes. And so I just had to take uh, three total dietetics classes, which wasn't a huge deal before I matriculate. So during this application cycle, I've just been taking nutrition classes. Um, and as long as I pass them, I'm good to go. Now, all of the programs are a little bit different on what they require. Most of them do require biochemistry, a basic nutrition course, um, medical nutrition therapy, uh, food science. But then once you get past that, the programs differ a lot and that was a large component of how I narrowed down which programs I wanted to apply to because a lot of them seemed to um, not quite have narrowed down what they wanted their students to have taken coming in yet and basically just took a DPD and uh, all the classes that are required to get that and just made that the requirement to get in which I did not have um, the time to do. So that made it easier for me to narrow it down. But these courses also, um, in addition to the flexibility for the students coming in, it also gives some flexibility to the program itself. They don't necessarily have to be masters of science in dietetics and or nutrition. They can be um, MPHs, for example. One of mine that I've applied to is a professional master's degree, which I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I think it gives a greater um, depth and breadth to the program itself and allows um, even a, a bigger research component to it. So um, the programs themselves just have specific competency, competencies that they have to meet, but other than that, uh, there are a lot of flexibilities with F within the future education model um, itself. So that's pretty much all I have. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. I just know that when I was looking for more information on that, I could only find um, a handful of videos and a lot of them weren't even talking about the graduate program. So please feel free to reach out and I will try to answer, my question answer your questions as best that I can. Thanks.